Hello, good day everyone and welcome again to our 15th recorded Let's Play session here in Stellaris. And I am your host, the uh, Fairy Archivist speaking and we are now playing our uh, episode 15 um, on our recorded Let's Play featuring our empire here, uh, which is called the uh, United Nations of Seoul. Uh, currently, our president here is Secretary General Harrison Horner. So, uh, there we go. So, let's continue on where we left off from our episode 14, which is the invert mass, uh, something like that, inverse mass, uh, I don't know, invert mass or something, which basically will lead to a breakthrough in uh, UNS uh, tech, which means, uh, you know, the discovery of jump drive technology. So, for the moment, um, things are, uh, well, still being, uh, uh, you know, uh, still going. Um, so, of course, just to let you know, we'll be saving our progress here for every 30 minutes as a precaution. And that this current run will take at least uh, every two hours or episode. So, uh, there we go. Okay, uh, for the moment, um, there's nothing uh, going on here right now. We're just basically, we're just uh, probably trying to, uh, you know, rearm ourselves here. Or probably, uh, you know, build up our uh, national forces. But the problem is, I am currently uh, overdue on the uh, naval capacity. It's about... Uh, well, uh, plus two percent. So here's the thing: I'll uh, probably have to create some fortress worlds at the same time, just to uh, cope up with this. Okay. Um, what do we have here? Um, okay, dragon spearhead in place, please dividend. That's a nice, uh, good thing here. Um, Okay, this is a refinery world. Um, so we'll probably be needing um, alloys as well. Uh, we need alloys, but um, it seems that we don't have one here. Okay, we got this. Uh, okay, this is a, a bit problematic when it comes to management, but uh, we're kind of overdue on the minerals, so we have a lot of minerals. Hmm. Well, this one will provide... Uh, yeah, I'll probably go for resource silos. So just to uh, add our, uh, you know, capacity here. Okay, um... Now for the moment, I am... Uh, currently uh, also building my uh, what do you call this uh, my uh, army or my navy so I'm currently reinforcing them as much as I could and uh, yeah um, that's the thing uh, I probably have to uh, expand here Oh, what's this? Brigands. So there's an incident here. Uh, we have no idea who's this guy. Uh, just some pirates, I guess, in the Nawitov system. Representative of the United Nations Soul, a blockade is now in effect in Nawitov. Processing and transportation of food and minerals through the system are now subject to seizure by external customs and acquisitions. Officers of the Bernat Theocracy, all non merchant bases will run away or be fired upon. Uh, well, you'll regret this. Okay, so uh, we have a 45,000 uh, strong, so we'll just have to uh, redirect our third UNS fleet to uh, combat this. So, uh, there we go. And, uh, so what's next? I probably have to uh, upgrade my, uh, my uh, planetary capital here. It's now on Ascension tier, uh, tier 2 perk. Uh, I have to, uh, you know, ascend that. 
Okay, what else? Um, so I got a lot of military units here, but uh, you know, um, okay, I'll probably have to build a star base here or somewhere here. Uh, we don't know. Probably have to build a star base here as well, but I still need 22. Okay, made peace for Furbanite Death Lords. It seems that the uh, Kelzan Republic is at war, but the uh, Kelzan Republic is not exactly a former official of the uh, Foreign Axe Union, so we're not gonna, you know, um, meddle with that. Okay, we got a relic activation and a Furbonite Death Lords. Okay, the Furbonite Death Lords have been wiped out, or their government has now collapsed on 2361 August 2nd. And probably they just, uh. Oh, okay. Well. Huh. Okay, well, if that's the case, uh, that's not gonna be an issue. Um. Okay, we'll just build a star. Uh, we'll just go expand here in the Ori Remnant space. After all, the next war with the Ori Remnant will be somewhat around 2367, so there's an easy truce Field around Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Okay. Hmm. But for now, uh, my main pur purpose right now is uh, to build a fortress, uh, fortress world. So uh, a military fortress world, just to support the, uh, you know, the growing need for our uh, na naval supply here or naval capacity. Now it's uh, we're kind of over capacity with uh, 954 to 933. That's not exactly uh, a good number right now. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is also one more thing. So I guess the Furbanite Death Lords have been uh, eliminated um, by the Calvan. Somewhere here, I guess. Uh huh. Well, anyway. Um, okay, maybe I should go here or somewhere. Oh, okay, uh, this one, the UNS Calvin, is currently uh, doing some exploration missions. <laughs> right. Uh. <clears throat> so for now, I'm currently in a problem right now uh, because uh, I lack uh, military uh, worlds or fortress worlds. Um, currently, most that I got here is civilian industrial. Um, okay. Okay, uh, we'll just do a little, uh, uh, can uh, take on auto ascension perk, but uh, we still need some uh, some stuff here. Uh, Hey, wait, 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 what, what do we got here? Traditions. Uh, we got the unyielding. We got the supremacy. So, um... Well, we could go for galactic force projection, which basically makes us our naval capacity. Um... I think we could go for galactic order or technological ascendancy. We could also go for one vision. Or uh, arcology project. Hmm. Uh, we can go for the Colossus, but I go for Galactic Wonders, I guess. So officially, I'll go for Galactic Wonders, and then uh, I don't know. Well, one will be the. Oh, we already got the Defender of the Galaxy, of course. It's uh, against the Preteran Swarm, so that gives us a big boost over uh, population uh, popularity points on foreign affairs so uh 
Okay, what do we got? Um, uh, Fan Havanas. Uh, I want to upgrade that, but uh, okay. So currently, I have ten shipyards here uh, near on the core, so uh, that's not going to be uh, a bad problem for me. So probably I'll go for New Libya. Oh no, New Libya is also small. Your Maseran free traders. Oh, there's a lot of guys joining here. Probably some new republics that broke off. So for now, we're still the head of the galactic community here. Um, so, uh, yeah. Blocker cleared. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, as long as there's new... Uh, Okay, this is a generator world. Uh, precinct houses, commercial zones, stronghold. Mm -hmm. I'll probably use um, energy grid and then trade something like that. Uh huh. Okay, new manoir. So we got the. Uh, okay. Uh, Recon pass completed. Okay. Hmm. New Netherlands. Uh, we probably gotta go for complete. um crystal. Okay. Uh, complete construction of a mining station. Oh yeah. Okay. So here's the thing, uh, since there's always piracy here in this area, in Brawlix, uh, we'll probably have to uh, invest on um, defenses, at least. Okay, uh, three platforms, I guess. Okay. Okay, so we've already engaged the third fleet has now already been engaging this uh, the Acquisitor fleet which uh, we have uh, wow well, uh, we have no idea who they are they're just basically uh, some guys I guess mm, apparently this is gonna put my uh, you know put my computer on a bit of a lag situation uh, because uh, well I, I do admit my PC is not really that uh, fast uh, I'll probably have to upgrade my PC soon okay uh, in either case um, okay we'll just uh, put this one on a uh, record I mean just for cinematic uh, on the brigands so uh, the third UNS fleet, which is uh, considered uh, more like an anti-piracy fleet, from the way uh, they have here, is uh, uh, you know on uh, anti-piracy action. In the meantime, while well, things are uh, oh oh, this is bad. The Falar Kingdom is now in defend uh, in, a, in allegiance or a defensive with the Sidran Manifold, which is, of course, uh, y you know, the UNS has been at war for uh, due to the issue of the uh, the Midfell Kingdom. Fleet action underway. So uh, mm -hmm. any military mm -hmm. action will, uh, against them will bring them into you know constant headbutts with the uh, Falar Kingdom. So that complicates the foreign, uh, I guess, the foreign. Uh, diplomacy thing okay let's see who wins here so for now our fleet is not exactly uh, you know, not exactly that uh, it's not exactly that uh, updated or uh, well equipped so we're still in the process or the UNS is still in the process of upgrading its military well, uh, we also have the Fornex Union fleet, but of course it's more like, uh, let's just say, it, the UNS doesn't have a sole authority over that. So uh, the battle here is getting a bit messy with the pirates. So I'll probably have to at least 5-10 uh, seconds of, uh, you know, video. 
Now this might be look good on the story. Uh, how I wish I should have bought my uh, upgraded my computer. But anyway, I'm currently having a job right now, so I or technically I'm currently on the job right now. So maybe I'll uh, try to save up some money during my salary days. Okay, so this is uh, getting a bit messy. The looks of it. Yeah, it's a really messy fight. Okay, let's just uh, follow this one. So yeah, I'm just wondering how would I record this type of, uh, you know, recorded session if my uh, computer is a bit uh, choppy. Okay, right. Anyway, I guess that's enough footage for now. Oh, they're pretty good at handling themselves. Uh, okay, well, I'm not interested in the battle right now. Uh, as you can see, I'm uh, currently having a terrible slowdown. New <laughs> Axis, uh, New Taiwan here, still being colonized. Well, we'll probably have to repair that. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, surpassing the Elder One opportunity. The weather on New Lebanon was unnaturally uh, great today, as it would have been considering we ran our atmosphere control system on overdrive. Every city on the moon reached its capacity. And there are still tourist ships orbiting what would be a part of the great day. The Grand Paradise traveled to each settled in turn and was created by the sweet bread of back with humans. Every city is capable of requisitioning a halo display in our empire was also overflowing with spectators for grand hologram rebroadcasts. As the centerpiece of the parade, the horrific inverse mass reached New Lebanon's capital. People were already uh, talking about making today a yearly elderly one inspired holiday. The horrific inverse mass was placed in a specialized display at the center of the capital to inspire generations to come. Okay, well, it, at least it gives us boost here. Society, research, physics, and engineering. Okay, so we got the horrific inverse mass. Okay, that's uh, on the Mitfell, uh, UNS Human Mitfell uh, occupation zone. <laughs> What's this? Oh, okay, they already have... Uh, <laughs> some sort of gateway uh, probably with them they're espionage they're trying to uh okay uh-huh okay this is a very arduous battle right now uh, oh god don't tell me that they're gonna get the Okay, well, that's, uh, well, I still, uh, um, construction complete. Well, what's this, uh, Fleet Academy. Well, um, this is Rikyo Station. We'll probably go for Transit Hub. Since this is the main capital, we're gonna go for a Transit Hub. Construction complete. I should have built this one as uh, Titan something. Okay, I'm just gonna save that one. Uh, we're gonna build a Titan. Uh, for this one, Haven, we're just gonna build a... Uh, I don't know, uh, uh, you know, uh, more like a transit hub. But the rest of it uh, could be... Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, associated with uh, production of the Titan. 
Okay, we got an event here. Our colonies on New Bahrain have made a startling discovery. Deep in the remote mountain range, they stumbled across a mysterious structure that, according to our scans, was not there when we first surveyed the moon. Its condition is excellent, almost as if it was newly built, but there was no evidence of the United Nations of Seoul involving its construction. In fact, its architecture shows alien characteristics with curves and angles that appear unusual and even disturbing to our aesthetic sensibility. This entrance, uh, there is a sign in our language curiosity with, with the words Welcome to the Magnificent Library of Exotic Transdimensional Anomalies. Enter at your own risk. Okay, uh, situation we monitor from far will have the following effects. Approach will advance the city towards. Okay, we're going to send uh, an investigative team about this one. We'll see how it goes. We're not sure of that event. Personally, I haven't encountered that myself, so uh, I'll uh, rather, uh, you know, uh, take a look on it. Oh, what the hell, who died? Galen Gaylord Swift. Oh, okay, so he died in the Battle of... Uh, Oh god. Oh, don't tell me the third UNS fleet is uh, defeated. Oh god. How is my uh, United Nations fleet uh, that weak? Well, we got one month here for uh, some research here that is very, very. Uh, you know, very, very uh, meaningful to the whole fleet. So uh, we'll probably be doing some general upgrades. For the Forge World, uh, I don't know. Probably have alloy foundries here. Um, I would love to, but I'll go with the... Uh, 21 months, that's not really far off, so I'll go with this one. Um, diplomatic networking. What's this? Embassies plus three unity. Uh, hmm. Diplomatic etc. Okay. We'll probably go for diplomacy and finish that. We're actually in good relations anyway with the uh, other Xeno species. Oh, Jesus. They got defeated. This is really a... Uh, Science Division reports yeah. a new breakthrough. Okay, we got now Dark Matter Deflectors, which is a big help. Uh, and a big upgrade. Well, we've already got the jump drive, so we're going to research on that. Uh, we're going to create a penal colony, I guess. So that's uh, going to be good. Okay, so here's the thing. We're going to decide. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for dark matter here. So let's save that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna replace this one with dark matter. Now, the thing here is, or the trick here, is that always have to manually or micromanage your fleets. Um, you can't let the auto upgrade, uh, you know, take its role here because, uh, like I said uh, on my previous uh, recorded Let's Play, mostly the computer installaris or the AI uh, intentionally uh, sabotages your, uh, you know, your, uh, intentionally sabotages your gameplay or your playthrough, and that's the thing I don't really take kindly. Oh, we also got impulse thrusters now. What the hell? Well, why are we... Okay. Uh, save. Construction complete. Um, okay, so we, we're probably going to have to... Uh, Okay, I'll complete this one and then save. Okay, so this is quite good. Okay, um, just give me a moment here. I have to pause this one. Um, 
Okay, we'll save this one. We have uh, we have to continue upgrade my uh, um, I call this. Okay, uh, here goes. Uh, we still have to. Even my weaponry here is really screwed up. Plasma thrower, probably go with a plasma thrower with this one. And uh Yeah, I really hate it when this uh Yeah it's really a chore micromanaging my uh gameplay here. So this is basically a gunship. Okay, that's good. So uh, this is artillery um, ship roll. Basically, it's an artillery. So uh, let's uh, save this one. Picket ship uh, ship roll. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna go for screen. Okay, um, cruiser, this is an artillery, ship roll will be an artillery, so, uh, save. This one is a multifunction, so we'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just have to, um, uh, upgrade this one manually. Now this is going to be a torpedo. Uh, uh, probably have to go to uh, uh, energy torpedoes. We will go with this one. So uh, the ship roll is artillery. Okay. Yeah, this is a carrier, or hangar, carrier and artillery core, ship roll, uh, artillery, basically it's going to be an artillery, okay, so I guess that's, uh, that's more like a go with our, uh, UNS military. Now the only thing I have to do right now is basically upgrade my uh, fleet, unfortunately. Uh, six fleet, second UNS, uh, first UNS fleet, FTL, they have to uh, upgrade that. Okay, so, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Right, uh, so this is going to be a fourth fleet. Yeah, we'll go for Lauren Mc McLeanis with this one. Uh, yeah. So we have a very, uh, over, uh, you know, oversized military right now. And I have to, uh, you know, construct fortress worlds just to, uh, okay, uh, this is going to be a problem for me. Restore these jobs, uh-huh. Okay, that should do the trick. So, uh, we got, uh, good, uh, work with that. Hmm, okay. Uh, right. So all of my, uh... Yeah, most of my fleet here is under, uh, ship upgrades. Okay. 
Okay, so I guess this is our uh, first save for the day on episode uh, 15. So there we go, and we're just gonna save this one on our OBS. So hello everyone, welcome back. I just saved that. Um, okay, let's continue on what we're working with here. Um, Oh god, my problem here is we're still with the military. So I'll probably have to uh, check my... Um, I don't know if they're fast enough. Uh, we have a problem with uh, one fleet here. So I'm just gonna assign the Sparrowhead. Uh, Dragon Sparrowhead Mercenary Fleet. It'll take about 855 days, but... Uh, that should finish the job. Okay, we're just gonna buy this one. Okay. Hmm. Uh, right. Third UNS fleet is still missing. Um, probably have to create a new fleet. Uh, GN class. Yeah. This is not very good. This is supposed to be a Linux class. I don't have Linux class. We better go disband this one and uh, go for Sparrowhawk, um, Stingray, and Tomcat. Well, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. Okay, we'll go for Sparrowhawk. Uh, Sparrowhawk will be about... Okay, and then, uh, Stingray, Tomcat, Makira, uh, Irux, Destroyers, four of them. So, uh... System reconnaissance completed. Okay, cruiser, cruiser, cruiser. So, we got at least, uh... Okay, um, so we've, uh... Need to upgrade this. Um, the six uh, UNS fleet. <laughs> yeah, probably go for a uh, probably go for a Kumanopolis class maybe. Um, yeah, I guess it would be nice. Oh, Crimson. Okay, our communications link to researchers we sent into the laboratory was cut off almost as soon as they entered. Nothing was heard for several days, and we waited anxiously. As time passed, we were to have lost our people. Then once a whole fall, they re emerged, however, this has only raised further questions. The researchers claim to have no memory of the state in the lab and their recordings of the experience are horribly garbled. Furthermore, even though they were in the lab for a matter of weeks, they seem to have aged several years. Oh my. That is really disconcerting. So we'll probably go, uh, the UNS will probably have to uh, put that investigation into a classified or top secret. And the research with the invert mass, and that's uh, honestly not a good sign. Wait, let me check on the designs here, the ship designer. I think we should have some sort of jump drive technology. <coughs> Oh, we're still not into uh, Dark Matter thrusters and Jump Drive technology. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably have to seal off that kind of uh, thing here. Hmm. Okay, so I like the... Uh, it's still in effect, unfortunately. So this one's 17 months. Hmm. 
Okay, uh, this is really uh, ah, problematic on my case. Hmm. Well, well, I could probably go for an Monopolis world. Um, Economonopolis and Gaia worlds. Uh, Blocker cleared. Uh, what was that? So I'll probably go here on the occupied metal worlds here. Probably I'll have to transform them to uh, Economonopolis industrial area. Yeah, I guess that's the best thing. Especially New Iran or something. Hmm. Or we could just uh, Montagris upkeep. Hmm. Okay, I'll probably have to. Uh, I don't know if I could uh, upgrade Singapore. Upgrade to tier 4. Ascending planet reduces the empire size by negative 5 and increases the effects of planetary designation by 25%. Uh, well, it's a highly uh, industrialized. Uh, I don't know, it's a big thing. And Taiwan is also. Uh, okay, there's uh, some sort of excavation site here. Ah, kleptomania cracks. Okay, that's a something. Okay, I'll probably go assign a uh, nearby uh, science vessel with this one. Um, let me see. Let me take a look. Venus Hawkins doesn't seem to have uh, seeds of destruction. Ancient stars you have buried in the asteroid. Okay. Hmm. So he's just gonna go halfway through that. Hmm. Well, we got several Gaia worlds here. Construction um, complete. Haven Starbase. Okay. Hmm. Or uh, we can just go for Galactic Wonders. We don't really have to go with this one. We just have to go to Galactic Wonder so we get a ring world and a Dyson Spear and a Matter Decompressor. That's uh, a good thing. Hmm. Okay, we got two colony ships on standby. Hmm. So there's nothing really much going on right now uh, on our episode aside from that uh, investigations. Which, uh, wow, well, kind of a bit disturbing. Okay. <laughs> so for the moment, I'm still having some problems with our trade hub. Hmm. Well, it's a trade hub, so, uh... Hmm, is this a new tradition's finished? Uh, well, I'll we'll probably go with that. Um, or we could go with uh, Nicomonopolis, but I just want uh, one Nicomonopolis. Uh, we'll probably go have to switch it out with a ring world. Hmm. Blocker cleared. Explore its interior. Okay, well, this is top secret classified thing. Oh, what's this? Uh, we got some uh, gas from the Ragged Enterprise. Crates with munitions. Okay, what can you offer us? Okay, we have noticed your mining station already make it. It strikes energy, does it not? If we assist, we can grant you a satellite, one fitted with clever technology. Hmm. Okay. Now for the cost we have out of foul of some legalities. We'll support an outstanding uh, Okay. 
So this will cost us negative 70 influence. Okay, we're just gonna have some dealings with the ratchet, with this rats. <laughs> they come to, uh, you know, they want them to be back officially by the government because of uh, their uh, dealings with other nationalities, which is, uh, they kind of ran afoul. So that's okay, that's a fair deal. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, which one, uh, which is the new planet right now? Uh, oh, they just uh, starting to colonize. Okay, that was my bad. Oh, we can ascend this one. Uh, A new world has been secured for our colonists. Okay, what's this one? Uh, fortress world in the back system. Okay, uh, we need a fortress world, yeah. Well, this is basically New Mongolia, but it's gonna be a fortress world, obviously. Um, okay, um... Oh, damn it. Sorry, my bad. Uh, we'll just go for a stronghold. Security, and, uh, probably, uh... Commercial trade. Same time, at least build three or four districts, and uh, uh, great. Uh, so we need some heavy industries here to support our. Uh, Okay, so uh, yeah, so we're gonna have some uh, uh, oh god, 15 months that will take a year. Anyway, it's a good thing we still don't have a crisis yet uh, appearing, so uh, we have a lot of time to prepare. In the meantime, we'll have to, uh, of course, go to other affairs here. <laughs> What's this? Ah, the relic ship 20 days. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. I'll probably have to send this one on a research anomaly thing. Right, um, what do we have here? For next Union fleet is still, uh,. Oh, trying to assemble itself. Okay, well, it's a good thing I have several uh, fleets here on standby. Okay, the Fafiunas fleet will have to be refitted. Uh, okay, Vijim Station. Um, yeah, that will be now your home base. Um, third fleet, they're mostly corvettes. Oh, okay, well I'll just have to, uh... Mm -hmm. What do we got here? I'll probably just have to make them rejoin there. Uh-huh, so they're fully uh, already being upgraded, okay? So probably the mercenaries are the ones uh, trying to hunt down this one, but uh, it will take them some time. And uh, we don't have jump drives yet, unfortunately. Um, okay, what technology do we have? Three months, three months, okay. So uh, that's a bit, uh, yeah, that's a good... Uh, Station reports enemy contact. Huh? Which one? Uh, Bangkok mining station. Hmm. Terraforming candidate discovered. Well, this is good. Fascinating. Uh, yeah, we could terraform this one. Oh, Acquisitor Fleet. Oh god, they're starting to... Great Dwarfill. This is not very good. Ah, oh, great. 
Yeah, I probably have to go with the four next Union Fleet just to uh, get this one. Uh. Yeah, okay, we'll just stop. Um. Oh my god, we don't have any station fortress on the southern end. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay. Construction complete. Okay, our shipyards have been upgraded. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh Yeah, I'll probably have to sell some minerals here. And uh edicts. Um Okay, education banner. Huh. One. Yeah, we'll go for education campaign and uh, recycling. Mining station lost to enemy action. Oh God! Right. Oh God! Mining this station is a lost to enemy yes, action. Yes, yes, of course. I'm trying to. Uh, uh, currently, it's in the the Acquisitor fleet is. Uh, Really, really, uh, yeah, you know, getting on my nerves here. Uh, and our, um, uh, it's still far away, 600. Yeah, it'll take them a year with the mercenaries here. I think we should be uh, finished. Be we should be able to finish the research in dark matter thrusters. Uh, uh. Uh, okay, so I got a lot of problems right now. The Acquisitor fleet is uh, trying to uh, wreck havoc. Uh, just some brigands specifically. The fourth fleet and the fifth fleet is still. Uh, uh, this is a problem for me right now because most of my industries aren't really, uh, you know, aren't really good with an alloy production. Uh, uh, this is a problem. Well, uh, hyper communication forums. Huh. Okay, uh, let me take a look with this. I'm still about a year away for a uh, new edicts here. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, Science right. Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, we got a new uh, penal colony. Um, yeah, one unity ascension. Uh, habitability, command center, or chemical bliss. I think we'll go for chemical bliss. Uh huh. Enigmatic encoder. Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably go with this one. Might work out if we built a network relays just to, uh, you know, fasten everything. And uh, probably have to build a. Uh, oh, I don't know. You know, probably have a network relay here somewhere. But actually, we don't use network relays, we use gateway travel. Huh. God, terraforming this really takes time. Construction complete. <laughs> <sighs> okay. 
uh, this is problematic for me to be honest. Uh, I better check my fortress world. New Macedonia, uh, we're probably going to build a crystal. Whew, this is really difficult for me economic wise. New Myanmar, it's a generation world. Oh, what's this? Mysterious Labyrinth. For the expedition to have had yielded varying at times unnerving results. At one occasion our resource our research waited for mere seconds and could give a no answer why they tuned turned it back so quickly. On another they were gone for weeks but came back seemingly younger than they had left and with year long gaps in their memories. Some groups returned in a better physical state than they had left. Others bore fresh scars of serious injuries. Over time, the signs at the entrance changed. Enter at your own risk became danger of death. And finally, warning, warning, do not enter the labyrinth. If you do, the planet will explode. In a macabre touch, United Nations of Soul Skeletons adorn the walls. Through exactly where they came from is not apparent, and since they have no concrete point out that there's no way to confirm or deny the wa the warning stated on the sign however becoming a hard to find volunteers to enter the labyrinth yeah this is really uh yeah um, honestly it's really uh what do you call this uh really disturbing energy grid pricing houses commercial zone strongholds um i'm gonna go for our Balkan, well, monument here Hmm. Yeah, it's really disturbing. <laughs> okay, Fifty and his fleet has been repaired, but it's still being currently in the process of being upgraded, and uh, we're still uh, half a years away. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna go build this one, and build this one, and uh, upgrade it, um, I don't know, maybe have a fleet academy. So, uh, yeah, uh, oh my, got a lot of, uh, okay. Yeah, we're doing a lot of work right now here. Oh. Savannah World. Uh, we can open our agreement here, or uh, well, they're loyal to us, so that's not going to be a problem. Third fleet. How we have to recruit. Now what's this? Geologus first and you have revealed that the planet is richer in minerals than we thought after calving our center pantry. Several promising mine sites. We should start directing more. Uh, funding granted. Probe deeper. Okay, we'll go for probing. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Zizao. Aerodoskia shipyard. Okay, so that will give me nine months. Oh, okay, so it's currently peace time here. Otokia monument, stronghold, commercial, uh, uh, piecing zones, energy grid. Oh, I don't know, maybe, uh, hmm. Hello theaters. We have hello theaters. Okay, we'll go for hello theaters. Yeah, we could. Uh, oh, we're still uh, not up to the terraforming technology. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh, God, this guy's uh, really doing a lot of mess. Uh, 
579 days. That'll take at least a year, I guess. Huh. Viral Valor Conate. Uh huh. Kelsan Republic. Oh, okay, so it seems that the Kelsan Republic are uh, trying to expand their borders uh, on the Galactic East, but. Uh, well, like I said, uh, it's, not a, it's not a foreign acts union, uh, uh, a foreign acts union problem. Locker cleared. Okay. Right. Uh, Okay, New Netherlands. Uh, well, uh, we could um, drag encampment. Quarters planet administration on the planet. Okay, so it's still very small. So, uh, okay, uh, it's understandable. Hmm. Yeah, we could go for a forged planet with this one. Hmm. So this is one, two. Oh, what's this? Solar seal. Okay. Three, four, five, six. So it's a total of six planets. Uh, well, New Singapore is still New Singapore, um, unfortunately. Store jobs. Okay, I have to click on this. Hmm. Oh my. Um. Wait, let me take a look at here. Just give me a moment. Just gonna take a look on my area. Okay. Uh, right. Um. Okay, well, uh, I guess uh, we're already uh, almost an hour right now on our uh, gameplay. And still, uh, there's no... Uh, Fine, fine. We'll just send the, uh, uh, fine. We'll just go send the Union Fleet here, just to deal with this one. Taking 504 days. Hmm. Okay, so there's a Talar in here. Unfortunately, let me take a look. Okay, let's send the construction ship down there for the, uh, you know, for the, uh, that situation there. Yeah, the Void Fund's very powerful, 128,000 from the looks of it. And this is just only a single uh, reanimated, uh, you know, reanimated uh, hmm. Okay, our General, General Secretary Harrison Horner died at the age of 91 on April 22nd, uh, yeah, 2063, so we are going to have to assign another new leader uh, Claudia Becker seems to be nice, but most of them are, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, aged. Okay, uh, seven months. Uh, Construction complete. Okay, what's this? Okay, mm. uh, oh, what's this? Barren world. Oh, this is nice. Well, begin mining operations. 
Okay, New Myanmar has uh, new mining operations. So it's going to be a mineral world. Oh, high quality minerals. Okay, so we're not. It's now going to be changed to. Uh, now going to be changed into a mineral uh, district, unfortunately. So it's not. Uh, it's now uh, a mining world, from the looks of it. Since uh, we discovered high quality minerals in that uh, planet on the survey. Huh. Uh huh. We currently have the Ruby Keter here as well. Okay, new Taiwan. Huh. So, yeah, we're still having a slowdown here. So anyway, uh, we're just gonna save this one. It's already 30 minutes, uh, just to add. This will be uh, UNS episode 15B. There we go, and I'm going to save this one on OBS and we'll have a short break after this one. Alright everyone, uh, welcome back after that short break we had, so let's continue our uh, two hour long sessions here. Okay, um, let me check my military here. Uh, the third fleet is still missing, so uh, well the sixth fleet, second fleet is being upgraded. Okay, we just have to wait for another two months for the Dark Matter thrusters to be uh, upgraded as well. So I'll probably uh, make the tenth fleet here, or construct another uh... Okay, um, this is gonna be composed of uh, Curvette, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so that should be, sorry, I'm having a, um, I may have to clean my uh, bonnet right now. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this is uh this is interesting. Right, and we're gonna assemble the tent fleet here. <laughs> so we got multiple uh, naval units here, but uh, so currently the vacant uh, the uh, UNS secretary uh, general secretary office is still vacant right now. Uh, uh, there will be headed elections until 2363 uh, because of the death of the general secretary. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is something. Science division report success. Okay, finally. You've unlocked the hyper relay networks, which is a good thing on our side. Um, probably go with point defense. And, uh, yeah, alloy processing facilities would be nice. Or neutronium armor. Uh, we gotta go for alloy processing facilities. We really need that right now. 
Now, in the meantime, we need some designs here uh, to make our uh, frigates. Uh, I'm gonna go upgrade them with uh, jump drive technology, dark matter thrusters. So let's save that. Ah, oh, great. I guess uh, upgrades will have to wait because uh, most of my uh, fleet here is still being upgraded. The six specifically. Hmm. Okay, who was Roman Fedorova has been elected as the new general secretary on uh, July 19th. Okay, that's good for me. Uh, New Singapore, 67%. So we're still upgrading ships here. <laughs> and we're still... Uh, oh. System reconnaissance completed. What was this? Tuner system is surveyed. Okay, we got the tuner system here. That is a terraforming candidate. Hmm. Okay. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, three months and we're gonna have a new uh I don't know, new uh tradition tree here. So uh anyway I'm taking my time here to uh Oh, we also included our star beast capacity, which is good. Cascadia Cassiopeia, life under night has been... Another just a gas giant. Huh. Now we're going great, you're fascinating. Hmm. What's this? Can anything be done? Okay, so we're going to... Jared Restoration Project. So we're going to research this one and see... How's this gonna go um, on, our, uh, on the UNSS part? Hmm. Oh God! Recon pass completed. And where is my fleet here? They're still very. These mercenaries are lagging. Or oh, my computer is lagging because uh. The days are slower now here. Hmm. Well, I need to upgrade my uh, computer. <laughs> Wait, uh, let me check my uh, fleet manager here. Uh, this is not going to be the first fleet. Um, this is going to be the 10th fleet. 10th UNS fleet. 10th. UNS fleet. So, uh, okay, we're just gonna build a new one. Um, I don't know, maybe, uh, yeah, well, we haven't selected any uh, admiral yet for the moment. So we still Ships uh, refitted. Okay, fifth fleet's already working out. <laughs> ah, mysterious lab at turbulent departure. This is something. A new Bahrain. Contrary to its warning, the labyrinth's disappearance did not destroy New Bahrain. However, it certainly left its mark. So there's been a catastrophe on September 1st, 2363. However, it certainly left a mark. Earthquakes ravaged the land and volcanoes long dormant erupted to life. A mystified of destruction message was left behind. We thank you for kindly allowing us to study the designs of your dimension. It has proven most useful to our endeavors. We apologize for the inconvenience our departure causes. We were not able to secure necessary funding from the Ministry of Extra-Dimensional Security for a smooth withdrawal. As a token of our glory, we'll leave you a minor space-time anomaly at the site of our library. We hope it will prove diverting. Okay, uh, huh. this is of course a top secret research from the UNS and uh, we shall delve into its secrets. 
so we have an active volcano active volcano see the ruins the new barrier from the whole uh you know explosion and deep sinkhole so i'll probably have a name of a, a new ruin here okay let me check new barrier what happened here so we got a new features which uh, we have to cover up so New Bahrain now is the site of a top secret uh, UNS uh, experiment although uh, New Bahrain should technically not be uh, it's gonna be now characterized as a tech world so uh, yeah ships refitted okay we're, uh, yeah I guess that's it um, So we got some further disasters. Uh, it's a good thing that the whole planet didn't explode, but the whole facility was vaporized in a second. So, uh, yeah, that's not quite good. But anyway, uh, like I said, the UNS, story-wise, the UNS will have uh, some sort of uh, cover all uh, cover-up plans for that. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, the third fleet, uh, I guess this one, oh no, this is the fifth, okay, um, okay, so we're still upgrading with the sixth and the, uh, second, uh, okay, uh, yeah, this is problematic for me, uh-huh, fleet manager, Yeah, the UNS, uh, 10th UNS fleet is still being upgraded or being created here, so, uh, yeah, um, so where's my fortress world? Um, there should be, uh, some upgrades. Forge world, eat. Yeah, we're still waiting for the population here, um, New Netherlands is also Special the same. Project complete. It is done. Present use can polarities. We miraculously, once our site installed the proper modifications on our vessel, they are able to recreate the initial cascade. The time, the effect was different, and life started springing back to the jar for Jared 4 on a great wave. Fascinating news. Oh, what's this? Spaceport reports Atmospheric enemy contact. Ecosystem. Yeah, we'll probably have to make a research facility here somewhere. Hmm. Okay, for the moment the Acquisitor fleet is still, uh, you know, wreaking havoc. Uh, and my uh, mercenary fleets are very slow because of the distance. Yeah, we'll probably have to upgrade our uh, thrusters with that. Hmm. The Alta system finishes construction. Yeah, I'm kind of conflicted right now, to be honest. I could um, put up a military industrial complex for the UNS in case of any Locker crisis. Okay, hmm. uh, well anyway, at least there's no crisis yet. At least not for now. So I got enough time to uh for the UNS to prepare blocker <laughs> uh -huh. cleared hmm. okay uh new Netherlands immediately we'll just have to uh Okay, uh, I should have, if I recall correct, uh, it's already been a month, I should get, uh, yeah, well, we could go for politics, synthetics, ionics, we're not, hmm, we could go for genetics, adopted cyberian technique and anatomy, no, we're not gonna go through that. We could go for harmony, which is we have a lot of uh, 
you know, uh, utopian dream, I guess. Uh, adaptability. Environmental desertification. Uh, give a okay, resource. Huh. Adaptive ecology. Highest function of ecology is a. Uh, We'll go for harmony since uh, UNS is mostly trying to uh, hmm, propagate harmony all traditions while grant the following effects planetary ascension effect plus 25. Yeah, we'll go with this one plus 25 percent. So we go for harmony, diplomacy, unyielding. Uh, that should uh, give us a little bit boost or something. <laughs> So I'll have to uh, buy a little bit of this. Hmm. Now, speaking of which, construction complete. Are we still upgrading our fleets? Okay, I think it's about another time for a ship designer. So auto complete. Okay. What six UNS fleet? What the hell? What's taking the the, the six UNS fleet so long? God, Rekio Station. Oh, Rekio. What's taking them so long to upgrade? Well, I better check with my, uh... Rekio I better check on my shipyards here. Well, they're on schedule. They're upgrading at least several, uh, six more vessels here. One, two, three, four. So that's a thing. Hmm. Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, five months for alloy processing facilities. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's still, uh, no wonder I, uh, I paused the, uh, no wonder the uh, thing wasn't growing, so uh, yeah. Okay, let's just check one by one with planets here and see if anything needs to be upgraded. Okay, let's see if there's a uh, Oh. Okay, we'll just do a little upgrade with our uh, stuff here. Okay. Well, we could upgrade it. This is a tech world, but uh, science. Uh, yeah, New Africa now is uh, converted now to a science world, so uh, just have to rename that just for uh, okay. Uh huh. Right, uh, we have to upgrade some stuff here. Well, basically, this is micromanaging. Okay, uh... <laughs> this will take time. <laughs> micromanagement. Alright, so I guess that uh, clears that. Oh god, this is really taking them forever. Like, uh, forever. Oh well, I'll probably have to, uh, build my 10th fleet again. We already got, uh, 5,000 here. Okay, 10th UNS fleet. Uh, probably have to recruit one guy. Um, 
Okay, we're gonna go for Ariana Alexia or something. Or Arena Alexia Fire or something. Uh, Salgi, yeah, shipyard. Special project complete. Mm. Okay, excellent. Cross model standardization. What does that mean? I don't know. So, uh, pretty much it's peacetime, although the, uh, the, uh, Acquisitor fleet is uh, wrecking havoc on the southern province. So for the time being, um, we still have three years before commencement with the uh, Uri remnant here. And uh, hopefully they're not really that uh, mad from the last time the, uh, you know, last time we uh, butt heads with them. Okay, we're just gonna go here. <laughs> well, it'll take them 96 days. <sighs> okay, um, yeah, we'll probably have to go. Uh, you know, it's really taking time for this one to be upgraded. Yeah, for the 6th fleet and 2nd. Okay, well, it's taking them forever. Hmm. Wait, I'll just have to stop the upgrade and then... Uh, yeah, I'll just have to stop this one. Uh, stop for now. And then uh, stop for now. Stop what you're doing. Okay, so uh, I'll pause this one. Um, Really had enough with this, uh, these folks. Okay. Right. Auto complete ship. Okay. So we're gonna equip our vessels here with state of the art stuff so that uh, they could get the. Uh, uh, ship design is currently being built. What the hell? What the f... Hmm. Destroyer, destroyer. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna go upgrade the battleships. Um, or probably some cruisers, I guess. Battleships here are not uh, efficient, as far as I could tell. And it's supposed to be a crystal plating. Okay, I'm not gonna go for auto upgrade with this one. It's about time I uh. Uh, okay, no auto upgrades with this one. Okay, good. Narvik. Tours will have to, uh. Um. God. So we still stuck. Okay, so I guess the 10th fleet is, uh, currently being, uh, manufactured, so, uh, there's problem with uh, the upgrading so after that we'll just uh, proceed to upgrade the, the ship after we uh, finish those uh, manufacturing or uh, on the shipyard thing so uh, we still got a lot of it and uh, it will take at least 118 from the looks of it so yeah okay we'll just uh, fast that <laughs> oh god. Okay, so we got a mercenary fleet doing their thing, but they're very slow uh, compared to the UNS uh, sponsored, uh, you know, uh, UNS sponsored fleets. high crime rate here for some reason 
Uh. And I have no idea why the enforcer is here. Okay, so that should uh, keep the peace there. <laughs> And this one, it's still uh, 840 days, at least three years of terraforming. So I don't know why I'm having a terrible slowdown right now in my gameplay. Uh, but it's a bit uh, uh, really concerning that I have a slow gameplay right now. <laughs> Anyway, right now, um, things are pretty stable on our uh, Fornax Galaxy. Um, oh, great. I hope this does not... Oh. Oh, okay. I thought my uh, gameplay hanged. So anyway, um, it's still got six minutes at least for me to save. And then... Uh, yeah, I'm very careful because my PC is now slow these days. I mean, when I first installed Solaris, it was, uh, you know, quite fast. But uh, as the upgrades go along, uh, several upgrades and uh, DLCs of the uh, Stars gameplay came, uh, my gameplay PCs, uh, you know, started to slow down. Uh, we'll probably have to repair this one. So yeah, uh, huh, it doesn't have a leader, so I'll just recruit a new one. <laughs> How about Carmela Gab uh, Gambadil Gambadori? So, okay, uh, there's uh, several uh, ships now near to be uh, finished on construction for the 10th fleet. Okay, so we got now one, two, three, four, five. So five more ships, and then we could upgrade the whole uh, the whole uh, fleet with uh, dark matter uh, reverse uh, reverse engineered dark matter technology from the Uri remnants. Uh huh. Uh, we'll probably have to construct another. Uh, Habitat. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll probably go for a habitat. I have to con um, This is gonna be fortress uh, trade bases, fortress world and trade bases at the same uh, at the same time. So for now, uh, all artificial worlds will be considered uh, a fortress world. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Okay. Well, we're not. Uh, Okay, seems to be uh, Fornax uh, mercenary fleets are now engaging this uh, uh, engaging the uh, this Aquisitor fleet, and they're uh, doing good actually. Ah, oh, great. go up close on the battle here so uh, this is a nice thing I'm gonna capture this one on the scene so this is how the uh, Aquistor fleet gets uh, cornered by the mercenaries okay I guess that's enough footage oh great Yeah, we got several fleets here. Uh, they're very, uh, uh, yeah, if you did something bad to the UNS, chances are, well, they're coming right back at you. So I'm just gonna 
travel to Science Division this. report success. Okay, they should be annihilating the last ship now. Okay, finally. Um, okay, got nano alloy plants, which is good. That should uh, boost and metagris output. I'm gonna prioritize that. Uh, what's this? Yeah, 90 days. What the hell? Yeah, do a research system with that. So I'll just be sending here the uh, mercenary fleet at the moment. So uh, for now, um, we're trying to uh, boost up our uh, met metallurgist output by 10%, which will be helpful in our alloy productions for our, uh, you know, military industrial complex for the UNS. Oh, what's this? This is... Oh, claimed by the, uh, Field Engineers you know, of Federation. Hmm. Okay, well, a anyway, uh, right, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Still have, uh... Mm -hmm. Okay, well, in any case, mm -hmm. I have to save this now, um... This will be UNS episode uh, 15C. There we go, and I'll save this one on our OBS. And after that, we are gonna go for our final 30 minutes of our recorded Let's Play session here. Um, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back. I do apologize for the, uh, you know, if uh, my... Uh, um, you know, settings here has uh, changed because my computer just recently crashed and it crashed in the worst time. Can you imagine that my uh, PC crashed? Uh, it was already 27 minutes on my final 30 minutes of this gameplay. So, uh, hopefully and thankfully, I was, uh, good thing I, I keep it as a uh, policy to record my gameplay for every 30 minutes. So anyway, let's resume now on what were I was doing um, on the last 30 minutes. So, uh, so I'm just uh, actually uh, adding up uh, luxuries here, options. So, uh... Yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna overextend my gameplay for 30 minutes because of this uh, issue, but uh, rest assured once 30 minutes is over, I will, uh, y you know, and, uh, whew, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of annoying that uh, I was, uh, you know, uh, it's just annoying that, uh, that on the 27th uh, minute my uh, gameplay uh, crashed and I had to redo this uh, 30 minute uh, thing gameplay again and hopefully I'll be able to recreate it so uh, yeah and hopefully my gameplay doesn't crash again oh good lord okay Okay, so even my clock is saying that it's already midnight. Uh, we'll just uh, let that thing uh, do its... Uh, uh huh. So yeah. Um, oh. Okay, so, uh, oof, this is kind of difficult because I had to retrace my steps uh, on the last 30 minutes, I can't remember that. And, uh, 
Guys, uh, it really is a mood uh, killer to, uh... As you can see, my uh, computer here responds quite a bit slow. Um, so I'm just gonna boost up the populations here. Alright, uh... Hey, uh... What's this? I'm still no normal go with this one. Alright, so um, I'm currently up. Uh, oh, what the hell! What the hell was that? So I'm still, uh... Alright, um... Okay, so Fortress World. What, what shall I name a Fortress World, to be honest? Um, okay, so uh, this should be new... Uh, hmm, Fortress World. Name for a Fortress World. Okay, so uh, how about new uh, militarized state? Hmm. New... Huh. Okay, it should be since it's a desert, it's supposed to be a Middle Eastern type of desert. New Yemen. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And let's continue on our gameplay here. So we'll just speed it up for about uh, 30 minutes. So uh, hopefully, if I recall correct, some of my uh, gameplay here is still being upgraded. Um, yeah, I have to check my uh, ship designer here. Ah, oh, great. Can you imagine that? Uh, okay, so if this goes on, uh, if my uh, computer hangs again, I am not going to continue this. I have to go to continue this tomorrow. Oh. Okay, um... Okay, so, uh... Okay, so I'm just gonna pause this one. Okay, what? Okay, that is... currently being built oh great okay so I just have to wait for another five uh, few seconds here station reports enemy mm -hmm. contact okay so uh yeah from the looks of it oh great 
So I'll probably launch uh, later an upgrade on my uh, fleet here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I only got about 29, 30 seconds, so that's not a big deal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 30 minutes is quite a long. Uh, well, I'll just be delayed for 30 minutes, that's no big deal anyway. Um. It's annoying that I was delayed for 30 minutes and my computer hanged on the 28th minute out of 30. Um, Alright. Uh, okay, so what's this? Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, right. Okay, so hopefully my computer will not hang again. But if this hangs, I am going... I'm not gonna continue anymore, I'm just gonna leave it up tomorrow morning. I'll just have to play this one uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, God, why does this... Is, I'm not sure what, what of all the worst time it has to happen, it has to happen on the 30 minutes. Oh god. What the hell is this? Okay, so um uh I'm having a hard time here. Uh God, this is uh Okay, so uh, I'm just going to hang out with the uh, this gameplay settings for a while because uh, this is totally unavoidable. Jesus Christ. Okay, Pirate Station, excellent. Hopefully that's... Uh... Okay, so I'm still recording, good. So my... Uh... My mercenary fleet here is uh, slowly getting all those, uh, uh, okay. So right now, I have to uh, do a little upgrade here with the ships. Oh god, it really, uh, uh, it's really a pain that this, uh, you know that my gameplay right now is uh, currently having a lot of uh... Oh, okay I'm just gonna pause this one for a second just to make sure that uh, things don't uh... okay so we got the destroyers upgraded so how about the cruisers ship is currently being built. What the hell? Oh, damn it. When the hell is this happening again? Okay, so 11 seconds in canes. Okay, so just 11 seconds. 11 seconds isn't exactly a big deal. And, uh, yeah, uh, can you imagine it's already 12 minutes, so, uh, yeah. Okay, right, let's check it. Okay, five seconds, that's not really uh, a big problem. Oh, what's this? This is the first time I receive a diplomatic, uh, oh, the Bricky Tea. Well, it's a deal. Goodbye. Okay, um, 
Okay, three seconds probably. So yeah, I'll probably have to finish off the Prikiki tea here. Um, yeah. What's this? Oh, okay, this is uh, basically a Prikikiti uh, vassal state that was uh, made. Okay, and uh, I'll probably uh, made an upgrade. Oh, God, what the hell happened here? Should do the trick. Um, okay, that's good. What are the battleships? Okay, so everything is doing good. Battleships, uh, cruisers are all updated, made from reverse uh, technology tech from the Guru. Tonians and my PC is uh, oh, still glitchy as ever. Okay. Oh God, why is this? Okay, advanced combat line. Okay, so uh, so this means that I'm going to upgrade now my ships. Okay, let's upgrade them all. Next UNS fleet has to be upgraded. Second UNS fleet has to be upgraded. Same goes with the first. Uh, and of course the tent. Okay, let's upgrade this guys. Okay, so we're just upgrading them. Um, it might take time because of our uh, uh, alloy production. So, uh, yeah. Okay, that's a good thing. Uh huh. Stronghold, precinct, commercial zones. Um, well, this is new uh, Korea, which is on. Um, so we'll go for food processing uh, facilities here. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Oh gee. Okay, that's good. Uh, hopefully my gameplay is not gonna get uh, cancelled out again on the last 28 minutes. Fortress Worlds. So probably the bad part here is that if I don't have any monopolies, I have to constantly make an ascension perk to um, to each planet, to in, to every each uh, forge planet that I uh, have. Go. 
So, uh, most of my fleets here will have to go, I guess, uh, on some upgrades. So, uh, there. Um, it's already 80 minutes, so I just have to wait another 18 minutes more. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a good thing that I made it as a rule on my gameplay to save every 30 minutes, because, uh, like what happened, uh, backtracking 30 minutes isn't exactly that uh, far, instead of I'll just save every hour or so. Well, probably I'll try saving every hour or so if I have a more advanced computer, but right now my computer isn't exactly that advanced, so I have to make backups every 30 minutes. The problem is that if my uh, computer broke down, uh, like what happened a few moments ago, um, I have to backtrack the past 30 minutes that I've been doing on my gameplay. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit time consuming if you ask me. Okay, I'll have to manage my planet here. No, oh, we got New Slovakia here. Huh. Okay, uh,. New Bahrain's doing good. Okay. Alright. Huh. Okay, so we still got the uh a high crime rate in New Singapore. So that should do the trick. Uh, same goes with this one. There's a high crime rate for some reason. But, uh... Okay, uh, let's just restore and click the restore jobs here. That's well I'll probably go for a hello theater. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Okay, we got an event here. Let's take a little uh, peek here on this uh, gameplay. Whew. Alright, so it seems that my uh, screen here is loading, uh, or uh, hanging, uh, that was what you called it. Rage and Cage, is there a faction to get carnage? Okay, that's intriguing, just continue on what you're doing. Battle debris secured. We'll probably have to uh, celebrate diversity and reverse arcane technology. Okay, uh, that should do the trick. Well, uh, okay, time flies. It's now 21 minutes. So, uh, good for me. Um, Autokion movement produces seven unity. Hmm. All right, New Netherlands, an orphan world. Um, where do we lack? We'll probably go for industrial sites. And, uh... You can turn consumer goods into... Unity points. Yeah, we do 
have a commercial, so with this one. Ships refitted. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've uh, already finished the tent the uh, UNS fleet. So that's good. So uh, they're uh, fully charged. Hmm. What's this? Alright, uh, we're almost near finish on those upgrades. Oh, really, it's a good thing that uh, retracing my uh, gameplay 30 minutes max isn't exactly that bad. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh my god, oh my god. It began as a subtle shift on the Igarian behavior. Oh my god, 2364 before I... 30 minutes or a few minutes before I end my uh, recorded let's play, it seems that uh, we have now an event here and it's gonna be a very nasty one. It began as a subtle shift in Igarian behavior, scattered reports of their ship once rarely seen outside their own space now being spotted in remote systems all across the galaxy. Highly advanced scouting vessels visiting ancient ruined worlds refusing all hails and fleeing when attacked. Refusing all hail and fleeing when attacked, their purpose and mission unknown until now. We know that the League Garians were preparing, recovering the databanks of survey beacons and automated scouting posts left behind when they retreated to their present borders, gathering information on the return of the galactic stage. Probably they didn't like when we trashed the Uri remnants. In the Garen's face, fleets are gathering, armies are being mustered, and ancient factories drawing drive. For the first time in an age, the Igarian arbitrators are looking outwards beyond their borders and towards the galaxy at large. Oh my god, I never realized that there would be a war in heaven in an extra galactic way. As their decaying shipyards are repaired and refitted. Okay. Uh, huh. This is, uh. Oh my god. God, I don't know how to uh, say about this. The Garrett ancients are uh, well. They got a hundred. The problem they have here is they have three hundred uh, forty-one thousand. So that's a biggie. So uh, okay. So the Garian ancients. Well, we already got the Uri remnants, so they're not a much of a problem. Close borders from the Garians. Okay. And I hope the Politean protectors won't be the one who's uh, doing uh, you know a hoagie boogie thing. But this is concerning because uh, you know the Garians are uh, you know uh, you know I never thought of them to be uh, you know be active. And uh, it's quite soon. It's just 2364. Okay, we're still digging for the Rubicator. Um, honestly, I don't know what to do with this one. I have to uh, probably prepare with this. Oh boy, I hope my armies are ready. Because uh, this is going to be one hell of a show. Uh-huh. Well, and, uh, and honestly, uh, the... Um, UNS isn't exactly capable in the industrialized uh, part, specifically in the alloys. So, uh, let's hope that the Fornax galaxy will not tear itself apart. Or at least not until we're ready. But anyway, for now, um, it's far from any danger if they did manage to trash everyone because the Garens are here. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, what do we have here? We got a garrison force, which is good. Um, we just have to assign a leader right now. Or a general, to be specific. Uh, okay, we'll just recruit, uh, well, Dieter Klein is, uh, how about Gustavo Agostino? So he'll be the head in the northern borders here. 
Oh god, don't tell me that it's gonna hang. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to, uh... Uh-huh. Okay, so I didn't know that my computer hanged because there was a war in heaven plotted. So, uh... Okay, so this is gonna be a very big, uh... I probably didn't like it when we trashed the Uri Remnant that sent a message that the uh, lesser races of the Fornax galaxy are, uh, if uh, banded together, could be very dangerous. So, uh... Huh. Well, anyway, there's no second empire waking up, so I guess that's not uh, much of an issue. As long as there's no second uh, empire here that's waking up, uh, I think uh, we still have a lot of time. <laughs> so we got the void spawn. Uh, how many fleets do we got? Most of them are still being upgraded, so uh, well, as long as they don't. Uh, well, anyway, I guess it's an exciting time, and that will be another, uh, another story, yet another time. So uh, we'll probably end this in a cliffhanger ending, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's already two hours, and I have to uh, sleep now. Um, I'll just have to save this. So I'll just take a time because my uh, computer is still loading. Uh, so it's okay if I uh, go past around the... Oh my god. Uh, it seems that I have a 30 second delay here on my recording. Okay, well hopefully that's not going to be a problem. Okay, uh, this is just going to be... UNS episode 15D so there we go and uh, thank you for watching everyone and I hope to see you soon on our episode 16 and uh, things are getting exciting right now so have a great day and uh, see you around on my next uh, recorded let's play session